Hi guys, it's Big Al and welcome back to Big Al Sports World. And this is just a quick transfer special to let you guys see what's going to happen for the start of the season. My first game's up against Salford, which won't be played today. It will be in the next video. This is just a short video because we have a massive, massive transfer window that was just done so as you can see in the transfer history here the released players have been Ben Campbell who went on a free transfer but we've re-brought him back in and um, I just forgot to renew his contract so it expired so he's back in because he's now playing for us so he's back in Stephen Gleason's left us on a free transfer he's now got a club he's now gone to Leighton Orient so he's gone up in the divisions lucky him see we, we're providing players all over the place for better quality Tom Ashton, Stuart McDonald, Christian Hill and Gianni Critchglow have all also left the club not one of those players you would have seen except for Gleason last season play for this team so uh, do, 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 where is it? Here we go. As you can see, we've brought in, I think it's 18 in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 18 players. I was right. 18 players. We've brought in 18 players. 10 players have left. 18 players have come in. Now, it's a completely new look squad this season, which is a bonus for us. Um, not many people have survived from last season because many of them were promised for two seasons in a row that we would gain promotion from this division we failed twice a lot of them wanted to leave so we left them and anyone who was very unhappy and causing that squad update squad um, issues are pretty much gone as well with the exception of Kenny Kenny's the only one still hanging around who's upset out of the first team from last season and some of the other ones have moved into the under 23s that aren't going to make it this season so as you can see 18 transfers to go through so we'll quickly go through them Harry Noon has come into the club very 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 good player physical is not the best but he has strength, stamina and fitness defensive midfield ball winning deep lying playmaker deep defensive midfield half you know he can play basically anywhere through the middle which is great he was released by Oldham and we brought him in on a free transfer crack and sign him Danny Redmond 29 year old so a bit more experience this time around for the wings and he is playing on the wing he's not playing midfield centre even though he can do it but he is a winger naturally outstanding perfect for this division he's 29 so his physicals are going to start dropping probably in the next two seasons but I believe he is a pretty good all round midfielder and I'm looking forward to seeing him play a lot more as you can see already two appearances one goal one assist on the preseason now we have a big enough squad for two squads he was released by Hamilton in the elaborate championship he played in the premiership for four seasons he also came from Everton and Wigan in the Premier League he never got a game he went out alone to Hamilton played really well then he went back to Wigan Wigan got relegated he then went and loaned to Carlisle so in my opinion <coughs> he's got plenty of experience and should do really really well for us Stephen Harris another youngster 18 years old Australian midfielder he was missing for nearly all pre-season because he was away with the international team and as you can see in the Olympic Games he played two games one goal one assist perfect for us he's only just come back he came on as second half sub in our last game against Koval and he looked very very tasty indeed and we got him from an American from an Australian club FFA COE now we did try to get a couple of their other youngsters that they, re they released like six youngsters who were all quality but he's the only one that wanted to leave that would have moved countries the rest of them were like nope don't want, to leave co don't want to leave this country at this stage of my career which is fair enough I can't force youngsters to come and play for us Jesse Pye absolute beast of a player he's 26 year old French midfielder another freebie he was released and um, he's not going to get our first team believe it or not <laughs> he will be we got enough players for two teams so basically the way we have a quite a number of games where we get like a day's rest between games like our first two games are like I get Salford a day off and then we played newly promoted I'm going to murder this name 
Guys League, Goose League, whatever the hell her name is. Um, so basically we got now got enough for two full squads. So we can like rest the whole entire team and play a whole different team. That's what we've been doing all pre-season. And in the first game you will see how good our pre-season was. So he was released by Toulouse. He's played for Monaco. He's played for Troyes. He's played for Monaco B team as well in the second division. He's been around. He's also played for Toulouse Reserves. And he played a really good season. But they released him on a free transfer. It didn't really renew his contract after him playing 31 games. So, hallelujah. We managed to nick him in. Which is good news for us. Uh, you already know about Ben Campbell. So, we don't really need to go over him. He was one of our youngsters. I just forgot to renew his contract. He's back in. He's also in the first team. He's like our natural left back. He is not better than a dude. But his potential is a lot better. But we also have, as you can see, another left back to come in. Tony Gomez. So really when he brought in 17 players, because Ben Campbell was supposed to be kept, and I just forgot to renew his contract. Ben Gomez is a 21-year-old Portuguese striker, packing midfielder. He can play in the wing, or he can play up front. We started started him off with the, in the first game on the wing, then we moved him up front, and he banged in a goal. So, you know, uh, he's going to have a good partnership, I think, with Pike. Um, David Doss going to go with our new striker and to Gomez is going to go with um, Raquel Pike who was our top scorer last season as you see he's a Liverpool reject um, sorry I don't really like signing Liverpool players with a Man United supporter but I ain't going to turn down quality talent so especially for this division so he went out on loan to Forest Green and he played only one game for them then Stoke signed him and never played him so we'll play him, don't worry, he'll get games with us. Another great player, Daniel Barry, is going to be our first choice midfield centre. There's him and a new sign-in. Kenny, unfortunately, is still at the club, but he isn't going to get first team anymore. Lawton's left us as well. So, you know, we are up and down with players, but you'll see our players who have left us so far. We have a few more transfers still to go through that are going to leave us. We aren't looking to bring anyone else in at the minute. So we have Daniel Batty, who looks pretty decent for the centre midfield. He's an attacking playmaker or deep line playmaker. And as you can see, he can play pretty much anywhere. Box to box, winning Carlello, Mazzella. So ideally, he's a pretty good player. He's 22 years old. He was released by York, or by Hull, sorry. He was on, with York in the National League last season. York offered him a contract as well, which I thought he would have went because he's played twice for York now on loan. But he decided he wanted to come to us. I don't know. I've been offered a York job twice now as well, so maybe that's why. But hopefully he's going to come in and do outstanding for us. As you can see, three appearances, one goal in pre-season, and his goal was top-notch. Matt Troop has come in, 18 years old, midfield left. He's a classified as a winger. He's not really a winger, but he's a good backup to Danny Redmond, who we brought in. Um, obviously, we didn't renew Kinsella, as I predicted we weren't going to. But 18 years old, he looks pretty goddamn decent. Obviously, his potential ability is only up to 19 out of 20, but that's that's good enough for me. He's currently playing at 15 for 18. He was a Tottenham youth that they released. And yes, I went through all the release players <laughs> to get some quality signings. Jake Andrews, because I want promoted this season, there's no more of this freaking trying to get promoted. I want promoted. Jake Andrews, 22 year old midfielder. Again, he can play the Calero, the deep line playmaker, the advanced playmaker, centre midfield, Mazzella, box to box and ball winning midfielder. Basically what we want, an all rounder. Stats are pretty good. It could do a bit more fitness, but that'll come along as the season goes along. His dribbling is not the best, nearly as his finishing, but he has got nine passing only. But he's got everything else I need, and he looks pretty goddamn decent in the pre seasons so far. He's played two with two assists. I can't complain. 7.7 .7 in pre season. I really can't complain. He looks pretty decent. He's going to come in. Him in. Kenny will probably switch around between each other or Noon and him and things like that. He came from Bristol City in the Championship. As you see, he didn't play for anyone. He did play for Chipnan in the Southern Premier League on loan. And he scored four goals in 12 games and he also played for Guernsey and scored 8-8. Eight eight. So, I guess he's used to lower league football. Kevin Miller, right back. 
just what we need it a right back uh, to cover up for Phil Barsley whenever he's not going to be fit I actually think he's better than Phil Barsley plus he's only 29 where Barsley's what 33 coming 34 so you know not a bad player pretty good defender should come in and do a really good job for us release from Blackpool thank you very much but look at that there he's had Blackpool Plymouth you know he's played lower league football before so on loan from Crew, and Crew signed up from Natchwich which was a lower league team as well so he went through their youth academy pretty much um, which is pretty good because Crew's got a really good uh, youth academy so I'm quite happy with him he's played really well in pre-season this is a fantastic centre back I'm not even going to try to pronounce stamp it for all uh, yeah Mr fucking Greek he's 18 years old he looks pretty decent for 18 I can see him and Chucky coming in very nicely together he can play defensive centre back and centre defender he looks pretty good for 18 again another Tottenham youth release player and thank you very much one of their regens will take him all day long him and Chucky should create a good partnership with the back but we also have another new centre back uh, Matt Penny and the left back which is basically replacing the Dewey a dude's now going to be his backup to, to Penny um, plus we also got Ben Campbell in there so we got three good left backs now we got two good right backs and we got about four or five really good centre backs this season so I'm hoping defensively we'll be a lot better and not lose as many games he's almost at his full potential he's really really good for this division he's 22 years old and he came from Wickham was it? No, Sheffield Wednesday out of the championship. He didn't really. He didn't play for Sheffield Wednesday. Only no games. He played one game on loan to Bradford. He played twenty two games for in the Sky Bet League two for Wickham, and then he played the last two seasons for Port Vale. But Port Vale never even offered him a contract. So a really good youngster. Again, we like our young players at this club, and he's pretty good. Jack Payne. He looks really good, but in preseason he's been crap. We're kind of disappointed with him. I think in he's gonna to have to play. He's say natural striker. He was awful up front. Um, Tony Gomez is far far better up front. He did score a goal, but it wasn't exactly the greatest goal in the world. He's at his full potential. He's 25 now. He's just gonna be a backup backup player. He came from Huddersfield. I, I took him because him and I thought him and Raquel Pike would have linked up really well, both being ex Huddersfield players. Tried it for two games, didn't really work out. Not the greatest side in front of me in the end. Looks better in paper than he does in, in the pitch. Uh, Jack Boyle attacking midfield right and left, which is pretty good because he can play with both sides of the pitch. Um, his physicals aren't the greatest, but he can pass, he can finish. He's played okay in the pre-seasons, and he's pretty much back. He can play back up to Chambers, I guess. He is only 22, so hopefully his physicals come along. He was in our Huddersfield reject, and I'm not going to complain. He, he's done okay in pre-season, so hopefully he'll come in and do really well. This is the side in that I love the pieces. 24-year-old uh, Dominican Republic striker I'm just going to call him Jordy because Hawula is not exactly something I'm going to say in commentary whenever I'm commentating because that will just be awful two two games five goals what more can I say um, I tried to get him and Pike to play together in the first game they wouldn't even link up they just hit the ball over the top of each other missed each other totally as soon as he played with Davidoff completely different beast absolutely banging the goals in with David Off. So he can't play up front with Pike, but he can with David Off. So that's a partnership there. Gomez and Pike combine really, really well. So there's my second partnership up front. So that is great, great news for us. Um, I don't even know where he was released from. Man City. Was it Man City? No, Huddersfield. So okay, he played for Man City, Huddersfield signed him, so he's from the City Youth Academy, which isn't too bad, been a man new man as well, that's not really good, signing blue half boys, more than signing Manchester United players, but you know, 
as I say, I don't reject the quality whenever they come through. So another striker from Huddersfield, so that's like three or four Huddersfield players that we signed. He did play two games for them, which is good, but never scored. But he has scored in League One quite a number of goals, so he should bang goals and for fun in this division. That's what I'm hoping. Connor Gritty, little Irish centre back, perfect for us. 22 years old, quality, good looking centre back. Physicals need a bit of work, but overall, I'm quite happy with him. He's only played one and had a substitute appearance because he was injured whenever he came to this. He had a little um, foot injury, but he should be alright now and he can play anywhere across the back. He was a Sheffield Wednesday protege. He's played League Two football for the last two seasons. Not many games though for Chesterfield and County, but he looks okay. He looks decent. This is my centre back that I like the best, Frederick Nielsen. He's 22 years old. Fantastic physicals, good tackling, good marking, good positioning, good work rate, heading's not bad either, concentration's pretty good. This is what I wanted, a quality centre back. He's only 22, quality centre back. Yes, he's not as good as Chalk and O'Grady, according to the star ratings, but he looks really, really good at the back. He looks solid, and that's what we need, someone who's solid. So Big Dean comes in. Took a lot of work to get this Dean to come in. My word, man, he didn't. He took four attempts of a contract negotiation, and he agreed at the very last one. Once I gave him like a bigger sign-on fee because he wanted too much money, but we got him in. So he's originally from Vyberg. Uh, then he went to Forest. Then he went free transfer to Wednesday, and then never released him after three loans to the Danish First Division. So. It's just the lower league football, good enough for me. And then last but not least, on a non-contract, so we don't pay his wages, we only play, pay him if he plays, Tom Dyson, quality looking midfielder. As you see, we send a lot of midfielders in, but I want to cover for that because we were off on the midfield last season once Lawton get injured, uh, Kenny and Almeida got suspended and injured and booked and all the rest of it. So we were losing midfielders like a three in. He's not too bad, his physicals need a little bit of, well, his strength needs a little bit of work. Uh, physical wise, he's got natural pace, fitness, stamina, so he's quick. He can pass a ball, he's got good technique, good first touch, good dribbling. So ideally, for a deep line playmaker or an advanced playmaker, he's pretty good for the young Welshman. Uh, he's 22. We didn't offer him a full time contract because he wanted four and a half grand a week. Not a chance in hell we're going to be able to afford four and a half grand a week. So we took him on non contract. I was shocked because League Two team offered him a contract and he came to us for non non contract. I'm guessing they didn't want to match his wages either, and that's why. Um, he was a oh, he was a Swansea youth and then he was released by Hull. He never even played a game for any of them, so he should get a couple of games here, not guaranteeing it not with the um, players that we have. So that's our players in. Uh, and this is our players out. So Adam Curry has gone to Boston United for 15k. He played for us a few games at centre back. So he's in the same division as us, which is fine. Uh, but, you know, he wasn't getting game time. He wanted game time. So I had no choice. He then asked to leave and Boston put a bit in. So he went. Will Miller who played one game, scored one goal for us, went to Crawley for 18k. Jose Baxter went to Luton. He was upset because he wasn't getting first team football because we stopped playing the diamond formation and we didn't get promoted for the second season in a row. Requested transfer, Luton bid it for him and he went. Ryan Burke went to Dundalk. I don't think he even played for us to be fair. Oh, Burke did, Burke did. He was our cover for do last season. Um, wasn't happy with the game time he was getting, so he's gone to Ireland, which is fine. Ray Grant, again, was upset because we didn't get promoted, um, which really causing all the problems in our on our dressing room. He was unhappy, he was moaning non-stop, causing lots of team meetings. So, at the first opportunity, Cambridge came in at 28k, he's gone. We lost Nazun, who played quite well for us, um, but... 
we promised him promotion. He was unhappy at the end of the season because we didn't get it. He like we had like three chats about it, and he asked to leave at the, the last chat because I was like, "Listen, stop pandering and being a wimp, and just live up with it." You're contracted to us. He then went, "Well, I want to transfer." So transfer list, and he went to Crawley time. Luke Lofts, he never played much last season. The season before, he was prolific for us till his injury. He was injured quite a bit last season. Didn't really play for us. He's in our division again. We sold him to Stockport. Granted, he's in our division, but we get 7.5k for him. Fair enough. He's one of our youth players. They can have him. He isn't going to make it up for our club, so... Unfortunately, we lost the Almeida to Coventry for 33k. Almeida wasn't happy after the season not getting promoted again, like most of our players. Um, he was unhappy. He chatted to me. Coventry were interested. He was like, can I move to them if they come in? And I went, I can't refuse you. I didn't get promoted. Go for it. So they did, and he's gone. Ivor Lawton went to Bliff, who used to be in our division. They're now in the National League, so he's gone up a division. Um, he wasn't going to get first team football this season anyway. We had this discussion. I had that discussion with him earlier on um, with all the new signs. He was like, "Are you trying to replace me?" I was like, "It's football, dude. It's going to happen. We need these players." So he's now gone. So he went to Bliff for twelve k, and then we lost the free transfer from last season, James Perch, <coughs> who was on a non-contract anyway with us. Well, no, he wasn't. He was on a contract with us, but he was getting like 1.5k a week. And he only played a handful of games for us. Um, he wanted, wasn't happy we didn't get promoted as well. Like, a lot of our players aren't happy we didn't get promoted. So, we transfer listed him. And Plymouth came straight in with 15k, and he went. So, we made a total of 325k. Didn't spend a penny. So, all that money went straight into the transfer budget so we could afford all these players. And that's pretty much where we are. Now, I can't see us signing anyone else in. To be fair, I haven't put any bids in for anyone else. I like the squad we got. We got two full teams now, so we can now rotate really, really well. Um, plus a few extras, because we did bring in 18 players. Um, plus, we already have players. We promoted a couple of our youth players. I'll just show you the squad, how big it is now. It is, like, huge. All right, let me clear the... Uh there we go. So we got two goalkeepers. We have about four centre backs. So we got Nate Chucks there still. Bardsley still with his. Adu still with his. Bradley Healing is like 16 years old. 17 now. We promoted him to the, to the first team. Because he was really popular. We had, to, we had to offer him a new contract. Ben Campbell's from our youth team. We all, Obviously, as you know, he went and then came back. So we only actually signed 17 players, to be fair. Because I forgot about his contract to renew it. Because I wasn't paying attention. And I didn't even realise that his contract had expired. I thought it was only uh, staff. Which they got renewed by the director of football. Because that's his job. Um, obviously as you know. We've got these players in. Kenny still with us. He is listed. He is wanted. So he might be leaving yet. we still got Yaboa. We've offered him a contract to keep him. Because he's going to replace Chambers totally. He's still young. He's only, what, 22? 23 now. And he's quality. We have offered him a contract. He hasn't accepted it yet. We offered that contract at the end of last season. And he still hasn't accepted it. So I'm guessing he's waiting to see if teams above in better divisions like MK Dons, Wigan, Scunthorpe, Cambridge come in for him. Which is fair enough. I'm not going to argue. Chambers is still here. Raquel Pike and David Off are both still here. So it's a pretty much a new squad. So what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve players from last season. So we got like a first team squad from last season still with us. Everyone else is pretty much gone. A couple of like Booker and Addison, etc., all are under twenty threes now. Because I'm not going to get first team football in this club now. I'm wanting to try and win this division. I'm hoping we have the squad to do so. According to the competition, we are favourites to win it yet again. Season preview. As you can see, we're 2-1 to one to win it. Now, with the transfers we've made, I like to think we can win it. We have a quality squad. 
we get two quality squads. I don't see why we can't win this league. If I can't win it this season, with the tip, with the three players we just got in, the eighteen players we get in, then we don't deserve to get promoted ever. And a lot of them will be gone in the summer because we won't be able to afford to keep them. The promises was that we get gain promotion, and that's all I can do to get the attract players is that we're going to get promoted and then try again to get promoted. So you see, ASC Telford have got relegated. They're back in our league after being promoted two seasons ago. Not last season, the season before. And um, whenever they knocked us out of the playoffs, and they won the playoffs, and then they get not relegated. So, well, we got hands for Bishop Stafford, Southport all promoted, and Geisley, Gloosley, I don't know how to pronounce their name. They get relegated. They're our second game of the season. But if I show you our schedule, 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 ignore all that. Look at that. Eighth and then tenth. Two days between them, so that's why we got a big enough squad now that we can like change the whole squad for a second game. And look again, 17th, 19th, and then obviously we're gonna have cup games in between these. 19th, 21st, we're gonna have to play a different team for the cup, different team for the league, so forth, because there's so many games so close to Gallo. Gives all my players a chance to get fully fit again, and that's what we need if we want to win this league. Is a fully fit team. We struggled last season. I'm hoping we don't this season. So, guys, it's been a pleasure. I hope you enjoy our transfer roundup and that you will see the f all the results. You've probably seen them really quickly there. If you pause it, you'll see all the results. I'll go through them in more detail uh, against for the first video against Salford, which should be out very, very soon. Thank you very much for joining us. If you've enjoyed our little transfer roundup, hit the thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And, of course, as normal, leave any comments you wish. It's been a pleasure, guys. All the best. Thanks. Bye.